Good evening, YouTube. This is Andrew with another knife review. Um, just today in the mail, I got the We Knife Co. banner, so I thought I would show it off. Um, I know it's kind of a well-known commodity, but at the same time, it's been, um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a grail, because um, very affordable and very, um, you know, easy to find, whether it's Blade HQ, Amazon, eBay, wherever, but um, it's been one that I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, as you can see, I got the black with the blue accents. Um, most most of you are probably familiar with the blue with the satin finish. Uh, that's a sticker that just happened to come in the box, um, which I thought was pretty cool. You know how we and Civivi always give you the um, give you the stickers, but um, but yeah, I I work in an office setting, so I don't exactly need the most hard use blades. Um, you know, and more or less, um, you know, I don't, I don't use my knives a ton, but it's always it's something you always want to have because it's better to have it and, um, not need it than need it and not have it. Um, but as far as the specs on this guy, uh, we're looking at a 6.5, uh, inch overall length, a blade length of 2.875 inches with a width of one inch. Um, the blade is CPM. S35VN steel. It's a spear point blade with a flat grind and um, the version that I got has the black finish. Um, the handles are G10 and it has a really nice um, really nice deep carry clip. Um, nice small and compact. Uh, we've got thumb, thumb stud openers and we have a liner lock. Um, Sorry, looking through the camera lens and not through the, um, not at the knife itself. Um, but yeah, um, really, really cr smooth, crisp action. Um, it does come tip up only, which I think most of us are tip up carry anyways. Um, the deployment is very ambidextrous. I'm trying to, <laughs> the, the liner lock is definitely more, um, more oriented toward right-handed people. Um, that's not to say that I can't close it with, with my left hand. Um, <laughs> just trying to stay in focus. I, um, a little bit, a little bit difficult here, but then one of the, the, the action is just so, the opening and closing is just so smooth. Um, very, very drop shutty. And, um, and I just got this today, so I really haven't had the, an opportunity to really put any use on it whatsoever. Uh, so this video is more of a first impression than anything. Um, but from what I can tell, I really like um, my my go-to um, EDC knives have been the Bug Out and the Elementum, just as far as... Um, having a nice a nice knife that I can get a full grip on that isn't too um, off-putting in the office. Um, those have been my two go-tos. And as you can see, it is just a little bit smaller than both of them. Um, I'm guessing that the, um, that the banner is about the same size as the Bug Out Mini or very comparable. But um, the two knives I reviewed last week, the Latvind and the Latvind Mini, um, the banner is a little bit wider than both of them, but as you can see, um, they're both significantly smaller. And, you know, kind of as I commented last week, the um, I normally don't carry something as small as the Latvind Mini, but the grippiness on this guy it just it really fits my hand well and I very much enjoy it and in a similar way um really like how it fits into my hand to where I can get some pressure on it um when I really grip down the the clip does cause a little bit of a hot spot but nothing major and when I'm you know I I don't I don't expect to use this for any sort of um, heavy usage. I, I, this would be a knife that I take with me to work most days just because it, um, so I can have, have it and um, 
it's something that if I bust it out and need to use it, um, definitely something that um, won't necessarily be scary. Um, probably my my favorite folder for much use is my Benchmade Super Freak, and I don't know how much I really want to take that to the office, but as you can see, um, I mean, the, the, the entirety of the banner can almost fit into the handle of the Super Freak. So um, we're definitely looking at a smaller knife and probably in terms of size, my best comparison would be the Benchmade Tengu, which I joke and call my church knife because um, it has that nice little slick um, leather pouch. And again, it's not something I'm gonna wanna put much hard use on, but at the same time, it's extremely sharp, um, very classy looking, and something that um, that it, it's a very effective tool, very useful tool. Just um, it's just very small and easy to um, carry without necessarily freaking any knife or any non knife people out. Um, but at, just just as with most we or Civivi, you comes with this cool little pouch. Um, you've got your cleaning cloth. Um, you got a couple more stickers in there to go with the, um, the banner sticker that I showed off earlier. Um, yeah, so again, I, I'm not exactly the, the biggest knife expert in the world. Um, I just, uh, I enjoy carrying or enjoy having a nice tool with me all day. And, um, this is a this is something that I've had on my radar that I've wanted for a while um, and just finally pulled the trigger on Friday. So um, I know that um, when I went to order this on Friday, uh, Blade HQ is out, but I see that they have, they've restocked. Um, I know that the, the blue and satin version is pretty easy to find. Um, I actually, whether you go on Amazon or Blade HQ or any of those, um, I actually got this guy through NC Blade. Um, it's just a, I just happened to find it on eBay um, or find them as a seller on eBay. They're an authorized seller. And I ordered it Friday night and it was in my mailbox uh, Monday afternoon. So figured give them a little bit of shout out. Um, not for any reason other than um, they, my first transaction with them went very well and I could highly recommend purchasing from them uh, in the future. So I hope you liked my video. I hope you like the fact that I have a tripod now and um, hopefully I'll be doing more of these reviews because uh, pretty fun and I like um, you know kind of showing showing my new um, EDC stuff. All right have a great night. Thanks for watching.